Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn Yarns YouTube channel. It's Vlogmas Day 23. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Oh, shuffling around, I'm feeling a bit stiff today. <laughs> Don't know why. We've been doing a fair bit of tidying and shuffling to accommodate James's parents who hopefully should be arriving today. Uh, so yeah, I think I've just got a little bit stiff. <laughs> moving things around anyway I thought for day 23 we might have a little bit of a chatty vlog today so I hope you don't mind this one might be slightly longer than some of the other vlogmases that we have had so far so if you have watched all of the vlogmas videos you will remember a few days ago we were chatting about the 12 cast-ons which I shall be embarking upon in the not too distant future and so I thought today as a little bit of end of year end of vlogmas roundup it might be fun to revisit some of my whips and decide whether i'm going to be keeping them all or if some of them may end up in the frog pond so i might be ripping them back i was thinking about it the other day and there are a couple of projects that i cast on a couple of years ago as part of the 12 cast ons that for one reason or another have been languishing and part of me still wants the projects and part of me has reservations so yeah i thought it might be fun just to re-evaluate what's already on the needles and see what we're going to do with those projects so i've got my phone up and i've got my ravelry project page up and i can see that i've got 12 active works in progress which isn't too bad for me if you have followed for a while you'll know that <laughs> sometimes after i do the 12 cast ons i have over 30 <laughs> 30 works in progress and if i do my 12 cast ons as it is i'm still gonna stick to under 25 so i'm calling that a bit of a win but i reckon there might be a couple here that we can say goodbye to so i thought we'd go in order of what's been on the needles the longest and I will show you the projects if I've got them to hand and we'll just have a chat and a think about it so yeah hope you enjoy and before I forget um, let me know in the comments below have you got a whole bunch of whips still that you are trying to work on at the end of the year or have you been really good and cleared off your needles ready for a fresh start in the new year I'd love to know in the comments below most of my works in progress live in project bags just down below me there you can see on the shelves there so I should have most of them handy to grab but if it becomes too much of a pain then there might be a couple that we don't actually see but I'll still chat about all of the things. So my oldest work in progress is these Latvian mitts. <laughs> if you have followed me for a while you'll know that these come out every so often but they're a really tough colour work pattern knit on I think two millimetre needles and I'm just checking my project page. I cast these on on the 4th of January 2019. So that's not too bad, two, almost three years <laughs> in the making for a pair of mittens, is it? Tell me no, please. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, was it at the start of this year, 2021, that I started to pull these back out again in the hopes that I might make some progress and get these finished and I just didn't because it's just oh they're just tough to work on they're beautiful but they're just really tough to work on there's um four colors and most of the rows have all four colors in them and it's just knit at a really tight gauge uh, which is hard on my hands and it's yeah and I'm not even convinced that these are actually going to fit me it's a bit difficult to tell because I haven't got the thumb gusset in yet but they're quite tight <laughs> which is good for mitts because you want them to be nice and warm but yeah I think I'll soldier on and work up the first mitt just in the hopes I think my floats have got tighter and tighter as I've gone up the project so I've been working these on double points even though it's not my favourite just because um, having the magic loop and the four colours per row was just going to be really hard work as well so yeah I love I just love the idea of these part of me is wondering whether I should frog back right back to the Latvian braid and maybe just go up a needle size and accept that these might be a little bit bigger um, because I think that will make it easier to work on the hands so anyway one way or another those are definitely staying on the needles although they may get frogged back a bit I'll have them think about that I don't have brain space to really think about that right now because I'm planning for the 12 cast ons but 
these are absolutely beautiful and this kit was gifted to me by a lovely friend of mine Gemma and I definitely wanted to finish them at some point so yeah they're gonna stay for now but there might be some changes to that project in the new year the next oldest project on the go and actually I think this project may be older than the mitts and I've just messed up the dates because I think I put this project into hibernation and then brought it back out again and it doesn't have an actual start date on here so um, it's my granny stripe crochet blanket and I'm not going to show you that project because it's over the other side of the room at the moment and you've seen that a couple of times during vlogmas because I've been working on adding my mini skeins from the advent that I swapped with my lovely friend Lisa into that crochet blanket and that project is really close to being finished and it's going to be finished this winter. I'm giving myself a deadline at the end of February for that. Um, let's get the 12 cast-ons out of the way um, but that one is definitely getting finished this year or this winter season, this blanket making season. <laughs> ah, next on the list, <clears throat> an old faithful that many of you will know and love <laughs> it's the dude sweater which is a cardigan that I'm meant to be making for James and let's see when did I cast this on I cast this on in September 2019 and it has been the bane of my life ever since it's living in a basket just behind me and I don't want to drag the basket out let me just show you um, a picture that I've got on my Ravelry project page in case you're not familiar with this pattern so the dude sweater is by Andrea Rangel and it's inspired by the character the dude from The Big Lebowski. It's one by one rib, colour work, chunky yarn and yeah <laughs> I thought it might have even been around this time last year I thought I was on the finishing straight and then I sewed it up and the cardigan was just too big around the shoulders and the arms were too long um, so some adjustments needed to be made. Now this one again and you might roll your eyes at this I am contemplating because James since I started this project James has actually lost a little bit of weight um, he's shrunk a little bit I think um, he might say different but I think he has so I'm actually contemplating completely flogging this project and starting from scratch a couple of sizes smaller um, and also investing some time into maybe teaching myself that um, is it called the ladder back jacquard technique where you create extra stitches for colour work so that you don't ca have to catch your floats in the same way because I don't know if you'll be able to see on this picture let me try and zoom in a little bit but where I'm working with a really dark colour and a really light colour can you see sort of down here it's not super obvious in the picture but you can see that dark colour sort of showing through and that's also bugging me about the project so yeah the dude will definitely live to fight another day <laughs> <laughs> but he may be going right back to the beginning which might make some of you groan <laughs> because you've had enough of me moaning about that project over the last couple of years but again that's something I will spend a little bit of time thinking about maybe towards the end of January beginning of February when I've got a little bit more time when the 12 cast ons have passed and I can have a little bit more thinking time about some of my other projects next on the list is my vertices unite shawl which is a shawl pattern by Stephen West and I cast this on this was part definitely part of the 12 cast ons the 29th of December 2019 I picked out some naturally dyed yarns from Fee of Flourish Fibres and also from Tracy of um, Handmade Over Yonder I think, I'm not sure if she goes by that name anymore I think she does for her yarn dyeing and I started this Vertices Unite and I finished section one look how screwed up this is because it's been in my project bag and look it's got this gorgeous progress keeper this glass progress keeper um, gifted to me by Caroline so I needed to reclaim that for sure and I finished section one I picked up for section two and I just didn't really like the colours that I'd chosen so I like these lovely earthy sort of natural tones but the next two colours that I picked out from um, Tracy were much brighter in tone so that put me off the project a little bit I decided to purchase another couple of colours from Feet or Flourish Fibres to replace those however although the yarns are absolutely gorgeous I've just had no inkling or inclination I should say to work on this project and I now have five 
you know, gloriously beautiful um, skeins of naturally coloured yarn from Fee. Let me try and hold up the leftovers. And I'm thinking, rather than carry on with this shawl, which will leave me with leftovers and I'm not entirely excited about anymore, I'm contemplating frogging this. I'm not contemplating, I am going to frog this. And I think I might make myself some sort of striped sweater with these natural dyed colours because I think that will be absolutely beautiful. This one is getting frogged. For sure, I've made the decision. I'm going to reclaim that yarn for a future project. And I'm going to update my project now on Ravelry. Frogged, done, so that it comes off of my projects list. All gone. So that takes me down to 11 whips. <laughs> Next whip on the list is the Pumpkin Ale Sweater, which is a pattern by Isolde Teague. And again, I cast this on the day after I cast on my Vertices Unites, so the 30th of December 2019. This is living in this giant bag, which I purchased from the lovely Luli. And again, given that I cast this on in December 2019, I have not picked this up since I cast it on. This is my only progress. Now, the Pumpkin Ale, if you've not seen it before, is a beautiful cabled cardigan, absolutely glorious. And it has been on my radar to make pretty much ever since I got back into knitting. And I believe the pattern was very kindly gifted to me as well. So um, I definitely still want to make this project. However, the thing that I am now on the fence about, which is making me think that I'm going to again frog this project is the yarn that I've chosen I love the glorious colour um, it's a little bit um, mute, more muted than it's showing up on the screen it's a bit more rusty than bright this is Drops Nepal and it's 65% wool and 35% alpaca now over the last sort of 12 to 18 months I have definitely developed a sensitivity towards alpaca when I use yarn with alpaca in it or if I'm touching alpaca fibre um, I start to get quite itchy and I start sneezing so I think I've got a a slight allergy to alpaca so I don't think given that this is a quite a complex cabled pattern I don't think there's any point in me carrying on with the pattern in this yarn when there is a chance that I may not be able to wear it in the long term because of the alpaca content so I think I will probably end up, I've got a huge sweater quantity of this yarn, so I think I'll probably end up putting that sweater quantity on my D-Stash page at some point in the new year. So yeah, we're going to frog that. I'm sad to see it go, but I think at this point in time that yarn choice is no longer the right yarn choice for me. We've done it, we've frogged another project, that takes me down to 10. On the list is my giraffe socks. Now where are they? Giraffe socks are currently eluding me, they're probably sat right behind me. Um, but basically it's a self-designed sock pattern, a pattern that I have designed. Um, my sister requested a pair of giraffe inspired socks and I knit up a first sock for her quite some time ago. Again let me see if I can find my picture on Ravelry to share with you in lieu of an actual project. So that was that was the first sock that I designed. I sent it off to my sister to try on. I didn't kitchen of the toe together just in case I needed to make any adjustments. I asked her to try it on and send it back to me. Um, she tried it on and said they fit perfectly, but she never sent the sock back to me. So I figured, okay, well, um, she hasn't sent the sock back to me. She doesn't want them that much. Um, I obviously, I saw her a couple of weeks ago. She didn't mention the socks, so hey-ho. Um, I started to rework this sock again, probably earlier this year, um, thinking that I would make a pair for myself as I'd already got a partially knit second sock um, but I started fiddling around with the chart that I designed and then I kind of lost a bit of impetus with it so honestly I'm not sure what's going to happen with that sock I've knit like two socks at this point <laughs> but not got a pair um, so yeah I feel like I need to find that project bag and revisit where I got up to and why I stopped working on that project that one's going to stay as a whip for now um, but it might might just disappear into the ether and get frogged when I find that project bag and decide why I didn't carry on with it. <laughs> I'm making such a mess on the floor around me. I should not be doing this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be tidying up the house, not messing around with it. <laughs> hey ho. Um, I don't think my in-laws are going to come up here, so it's fine. This 
room becomes a bit of a dumping ground I expect we'll be bringing more things up here to get them out of the way um, before before they visit later today we've got the final bit of tidying up to do anyway um, next project is my Outra or Outra I'm not sure how it's pronounced sweater a pattern by um, Skein Deer Knits and I started this when did I start this April 2020 so again it's been on the needles for a while um, but I've made reasonable progress and this one is definitely staying it's just not been a priority but I like how this one is turning out so I have done the top of the sweater which is all colour work and I knit the colour work from some of my own hand spun yarn and I'm knitting the body of the sweater now um, in this black yarn which is um, onion yarn onion nettle yarn um, so it's something a little bit different but I've wanted a four ply um, sort of predominantly black sweater for ages because I have not knit myself one of those and my black sweater my black acrylic sweater is pretty much the only commercial sweater that I still have in my jumper sweater collection that I wear um, and it would be just nice to have something black to to wear in my wardrobe and again I've been looking for this for ages it's got one of my favorite progress keepers on there and it's just been languishing in my bag for ages it's my moosey stitch marker which was a lovely gift from my friend Erin so yeah I need to get this project out again soon and it's living in this gorgeous bag that was a gift from Christine thank you Christine if you're watching next up is my what is that called a scrappy V I think it's called yeah scrappy V pattern and I started this last December and I started using the minis that were in the advent that Caroline sent me I have no idea where the project bag for this project currently is so I can't show you the project but I'll show you a picture again on my Ravelry screen so as you can see my scrappy V is nice and bright and fun and it's one that I'm definitely going to carry on with I had contemplated adding my mini skeins from my friend swap this year to finish off my scrappy V but I think the yarn in my advent would just be too much for what I've got left to do if that makes sense and I wanted to use all of the yarn in my advent for the same project and as it turns out this December I've been working on a secret test knit sweater for the lovely Sylvia who is with cherries on top um, Sylvia what's cherry so I wouldn't have had time to knit in my advent minis anyway but that one is definitely staying four projects left um, so two of the no three of these are actually cast ons from last year and so mid coast sweater is a colour work sweater from Jennifer Steingas which I cast on and I think I might have chatted about this in my 12 cast on videos these next three projects so I'm not going to dwell on them too much but the mid coast is currently off the needles I've technically got it as a whip but actually I'm going to be kind to myself I'm actually going to call that frogged <laughs> here's a way to reduce your whip numbers in one fell swoop because I'm going to restart that project and use the colours in a slightly different way so I'm calling it frogged for now because it's not even actively on the needles how about that for a unilateral decision <laughs> um, Selbu socks are definitely staying and will be worked on sooner rather than later hopefully um, my Ursa sweater has just a few rows left on the body and sleeves to add so that's definitely going to be staying and my most recent cast on that is uh, currently in progress was from October 2021 so not very um, long ago at all and it's my astragal sweater from my hand spun yarn and I can show you a picture of the basket of hand spun yarn but I don't have a picture of my um, but my astragal is actually downstairs because I'm contemplating in my little break between finishing hopefully my test knit and starting the 12 cast ons I'm thinking about working on the astragal so it's downstairs at the moment So yeah, I'm knitting that pattern from my hand spun yarn, John Arbin. So there we go. That's all of the projects that I have on the needles, I think. So that means before I start casting on, I am ending the year with two, four, six, eight, nine projects on the needles. That's not bad at all, really, is it? Or is it? <laughs> 
Right, I think that's it for today. I think we've been sat chatting enough. I hope you've enjoyed um, a little end of year tour of my works in progress. And as I said earlier, let me know in the comments below whether you have any anything left on the needles or whether you've been busy clearing up your needles ready for a fresh start in the new year. Thanks for watching my ramble and thanks for watching Vlogmas. So far, one more day left and then we'll take a short break for a week or so and then I'll be back with the 12 cast on. So I hope you'll join me for tomorrow's Christmas Eve video, but until we do get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big willy hugs to you all.